this traction engine um, is a design by Kenneth Wells um, intended to be used in school metalwork classes um, he wrote a book with two designs in one for a stationary and uh, one for this traction engine so it was probably made in a school by a student Now it's intended to uh, to have a meths burner with it. Um, I don't have the meths burner, so I'm going to use this uh, mammard solid fuel tray here with a dollop of sterno in it. Obviously because of the way they're uh, made, uh, the quality of workmanship and so on varies a hell of a lot. Um, this particular example seems to be reasonably good, reasonably well built. Also the materials used and can vary slightly in some examples and uh, even the, the, die, the, the design can be, can be changed in minor details. But this one I think is mostly according to the book and as I said reasonably well built. I have uh, restored it. It was in pretty tatty condition when I uh, acquired it, but I've uh, I restored it to pretty close to the to the um, uh, the colour scheme in the book. Oh, I thought it wasn't going to go for a minute there, but uh, it seems to be going. The ports are slightly misaligned. And that when it's in its in, uh, exhaust stroke, uh, there is a slight escape of steam from the 
port here. But uh, it doesn't stop it working. It might work a bit better if I correct that. But that would probably be a fairly difficult job to correct. It doesn't have a drive belt on it and I don't think I've got one handy at the moment. I'd have to go and borrow one off the of Mabod or something and chances are it wouldn't fit so I won't bother. It doesn't mean I can't show it to you running on the floor. It's running a lot more slowly than I remember from last time I ran it. Uh, could be because the uh, sterno is not as powerful as the mess I was running in on before. <laughs> 